Welcome to Friday Night Frenzy on Western Mass News. I'm your host, Matt Satilli. The first Friday of football season is in the books. We'll be bringing you the top football highlights and action from the full fall sports late. So let's get right into the action. Chicopee Comp taking on Agawam tonight. From the home of the Brownies, first carry by Agawam right up the middle in a scrum there, advancing the ball into the end zone. 7 0 Agawam with a quick score. Extra point is good right up the middle. Tacking on an extra point. The next play here, it's a fumble that's recovered by Eric Rodriguez. Not before some yardage here, poked out at the end. Good hustle there from Rodriguez. Chicopee Comp taking over down by just a score, but would not stay a score for long. Nicholas Ugolini with the carry for Agawam takes it up the side just near the end zone, and it wouldn't be much for long. Noah Jodine up the middle for a touchdown. Agawam up 14-0. Ugolini, another rush here, gets a tackle, gets a block, makes a man miss to the right and takes it down inside the 10. Now it's Cole Ingham's turn. He takes it right up the middle. He is in for a touchdown. It would be all Agawam in this one. Final score, 36-6. Agawam starting off their young campaign, 1-0. and oh. Next up, we got Hoosack Valley taking on Northampton. Northampton handed Hoosack their only regular season loss last season. The Northampton Blue Devils crowd going crazy. We picked this one up in the second half. Hoosack goes three and out. That sets up a run from Marty Maslowski. He is jetting towards the end zone. No one's going to catch him. Just inside the pylon for a touchdown. At that point, it's 49-7 to Northampton. And the Blue Devils defense playing strong. You can see Maslowski taking a breath there. Teammates hyping him up from the sidelines. This time, Hoosack Valley. Jonathan Figueroa Cruz, he's got a tackle left. And then he's going to say, why don't we try to go right side here? Why don't we reverse it? Next play. This is Northampton back on the carry. They're running it left. Seeing if they can get it towards the pylon. This one just short of the end zone. Now figure, let's get the ball in again. High snap here. It's taken. Gets the ball, and he is in for the score. Actually wrapped up just in front of the pylon, but now Husak, you know, a little comeback of their own. Jonathan Griffin Mucci with the tackle here, and then he goes on to carry it on the other side. Final score from this one, well, 49 to 8. Northampton with a convincing win to start. Me and my fellow juniors, seniors, everybody, we're just ready to go. Expectation is, should be high for us. We have that great bond that I think some teams don't have, so I think that should give us a little edge over our competition. It's definitely a good old-fashioned rivalry game. It's a good test for us. Minichog taking on West Springfield in our Friday Night Frenzy Game of the Week. These two teams split the matchup the last two times around. They played at Falcon Field in Wilbraham tonight. Let's show you the highlights. It was a good one. First off, we have Minichog exiting the tunnel. The Falcons excited to get their campaign underway. Minichog and West Springfield captains there. Here it's Jack Lucarell on the first drive of the game. His pass to DJ Johnson incomplete in the end zone. That was on fourth down. That would turn it over. West side with the ball now. Donald Kuloba runs it outside. It's right now, a hard time Minichog had stopping Kuloba on the outside. Now we got Nate Stone. His pass to C.J. Gradley's broken up by Elliott Humphreys. Nice play by Humphreys. He made some good plays on the back end there. Now, Isaiah Kozib, he was stretching out on the sidelines. He was out. That'll be important later. This snap here goes over the head of Nate Stone for West Side. Sets up great field position for Minichog. Kozib, despite being out, the electric running back did not stay out for long. He punches it in just inside the right pylon. 6-0 Minichog. That would be the score heading into halftime. Kozib getting it into the end zone, breaking what was a low-scoring first half. West Springfield regathering themselves. Look at that moon. Beautiful night out for our first Friday night frenzy. So picking it up in the second half here, Minichog pass broken up by Rodney Varela at the line. The Terriers did a nice job getting to pressure on the defensive side of the ball. Now it's Evan Villalongo who gets the ball. He's churning. Look at the help he's getting from his offensive lineman. Motoring and motoring and motoring. He will not be taken down. There was a flag that backed this up five yards at the end, but now it's Johnny Jingarua. He had a great second half. He was filling in a little bit for Nate Stone. He evades a defender, takes it to the right side. They are in the goal line. Now it's Timmy Hurahan. His turn takes the ball, rushes in, and he's setting up a touchdown for who else? But Johnny Jingarua takes it to the right. He loved that right side in the second half. Beats a defender to the pylon. That tied it up at eight. Minichog was off sides on the two-point conversion attempt. So from the one-yard line, Evan Villalongo. Punches it in, 8-6 west side. Minichog down, how will they respond? Well, there's going to be a pass intended 
for Max Baroni. You can see they're going crazy on the sidelines. Villalongo knows he just put his team up. Now it's Stone passing it up for CJ. Max Baroni, rather, broken up by CLA J. Labonte. But, however, Minichog would respond in the fourth quarter with a score, and they end up taking this one, winning our Friday Night Frenzy Game of the Week final score, 14-8 Falcons.